props to B Dog. He it was it was tight games the entire way, and it's a two zero in the end. So, Pub T's Kryptonite is adequate Falcons. Oh wow! This is, oh wow! So this is all this crazy tech kill. Yeah, it looks like hand warmers. Uh, we got. So apparently we need to send out some adequate Falcons yeah. to stop Cub T. Well, I mean, Maybe I should play Falcon when I play him then. Yeah. My, my Falcon's probably... My Falcon's inadequate, but in, in, the, ca in the case of against Cub T, it's probably adequate. Okay. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that's a money match happening for Prime it's, there. It's too fun to, to not just talk shit. Yeah. Alright, so we got classic. KIC Niven matchup. Which I believe KIC has been winning as of late. Uh, I think he won the most recent one. I don't know about the ones leading up to that. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, KIC having the, the God run, the original Mango run. Yes, that's before it. Before Mango even did it. <laughs> yes. Um, did get knocked out by Perth's Armada, aka Quetz in Grand. Um, so, you know, the original Mango run. That's it. That's pretty much it. Basically, was a reenactment of Genesis. Yeah. Before Except Genesis before 3 happened. happened. Yeah. So it was like predicting it. That's Gen why KSC made that crazy bet. Yeah. Because he, he, he saw the future. Yeah. He, he is Mango in this case. Um, I guess this is PP's Marth. Yeah. Just oh, getting Shine Spike. Alright, so really first nice. stock going to KIC. Goes for the F smash in neutral. It gets up air, but resets it to neutral afterwards. Bit of an interesting choice there, the, that F smash, actually. It kind of felt like it wasn't really the right percents for it. Yeah, I mean, if he had landed the tipper, that was a stop, but yeah. I, it's still very questionable when a wave dash out of shield is all you need and yeah. you need it. Nice F deal. Oh, oh that, that Flutter Hush. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Flutter Hush, what a name. <laughs> but yeah, this is still kill percent for Niven right now, so... Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought that was a shine. Man. But now... But the timing's hard because of the yeah. air. Yeah. Oh, now. for sure, yeah. Oh, wow. Gets called out. Now this is a new stock? No, it's I I really like that um, KRC is a playing pressure to Niven by the ledge. Yeah, um, he, could, he may just be off of this timing, I feel, because it is very timing-based whether or not you're going to land that. Even so, though, it's good to just like, apply that pressure, like even if you aren't getting the stocks, because it makes Niven question whether he is that safe on the ledge. Yeah, absolutely. And Niven's main whole game is about the ledge. So if you can get him to question that, then you can put him on top. Though yeah. Niven not one to tilt easily. No, that's that's true. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's just our weapon right size there. Hey, I see giving him a bit of respect for that. Yep. I think where we are in the bracket. Uh, I can't say. It's barely far on maybe loses his quarters, I'd say. I feel like um, for one of these guys to be going out and lose his quarters, that's actually pretty, pretty yeah. early. I think this is, what, third and... Maybe... Wait, I think Niven was seated second at this tournament, actually. Yeah. Um, and KIC would have been fourth with uh, XOR's XOR third. third. Yeah. So yeah, super, super early for to be playing. Who did Niven lose? XOR. XOR, yes. Because I just played. Alright. Oh, good up there. Wow. Nice. That kill. That was just perfect percentage for it. Definitely. Him. That's really good. Really good awareness to know when to start going for those. Yeah. Oh, right. nice. You've come oh, in, but the early good. side. Oh, and again. the double up tilts into a forward air. <laughs> what are these combos? <laughs> the forward air is wild time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they're trying to just get back some stage control now. It gets the up tilt. It doesn't really have any up tilt quick enough, though, but it gets oh, the combo. Oh, oh, goes for the down air. Everyone was expecting to be able to swag out a bit. Yeah. We've definitely oh, created nice. for this combos. Yeah. I love this one. Oh, and that upper's gonna do it. Wow. Oh, no. Same percentage as last time, though. So it must have just been slightly stale. Or at a lower spot. down. Yeah. So, obviously, he's just barely killed last time. Yeah. So, good stuff to um, KRC taking that first game. So, this is still best of three. Usually, these guys play best of five. Yeah. Well, we've got the uh, run back to Battlefield, which I can respect. Um, yeah. Niven, Niven likes this stage. Yeah. And there's no reason why Mark shouldn't. 
play on this stage. Like, if he felt better about playing the Yoshis, he could play Yoshis. Yeah, and, he, and Niven's not one to kind of tank every zero to death, so... And he doesn't really get the benefit of FD. Yeah, he, he likes his platforms and he likes yep. his gimps. Oh, very nice follow-up, because the Tomahawk grab, but doesn't actually get the up air after the up throw. Oh, just run up and up smash. Yeah. Nib with a crouch counter. Yeah, that's good though. Otherwise, that would have been ticked. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so applying some pressure to Niv, who's stuck on the platform, now in the corner. Yeah, just kind of not able to get back to stage control. KOC doing a really good job of zoning out. Up tilt KO. Up tilt, uh, up tilt KO. Uh, back in the corner. Yeah. I mean, Niv's, Niv likes being on the ledge, but I feel like it's KOC bombing rather than him looking for, yeah. for the game. Yeah. And he, he likes to be like with, with the legend, like, have like that whole wing of battlefield to his yeah. own. He doesn't like to be kind of just standing there being like, oh, what do I do? I, I, I was just going to say, I like the running shine attempt there for the yes. AIC. It's very good in the matchup of Bender. Uh, don't really see it coming up. If you mix it in, it, it works out really yeah. well. Ooh, that was just a little really, yeah, really good idea. Pinhead of the shield. Yeah, that's just that like experienced player stuff, knowing that if someone's holding shield, like shield breakers shield gonna, break. yeah, where, I mean it's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that angle from my uh, Yeah, the Aussie Aussie mango not getting the trademark mangoes. PM Thursdays 102, Blame Byron. That's who I'm blaming. <laughs> Alright, now he's gonna send him out. This could be a stop. Oh, oh. He just makes it back on stage. That means that get up attack is coming back. Oh wow! Death smash, catching the um, the not sweet spot at yeah. up Unsweetened. Unsweetened, <laughs> yes. Or maybe you sweetened it, but it was that fake sugar. It was it was that it was that yeah. diet up there. Yeah, use that equal that equal up It's just not good enough. Left a bad aftertaste. Oh, good oh. stuff. Applying the pressure. Oh, the oh my god, that up air. And then just kind of start to flail around with the forward air. Yeah, he didn't actually get that first, the second hit of up air, but yeah, if he did, that, that was, was another up air. Yeah, really nice pressure on the KFC. Um, it's one thing that I've seen both him and Gabe really improve on um, over the, the course of like, the last couple of months. Their yeah. punish game is getting so incredible. Absolutely, yeah. It's a huge difference. Oh, this could be it. Very nice. nice. Jab Great. into reverse up B. Yeah. I love reverse up B for an extra shot. It's yeah, so it's strong. And quick. Yes. It's like five, uh, five frames or something. They're really, yeah, really nice it's frame. very quick. All right, KSC just looking for something to kill with Ooh. here. Yeah. Oh, it goes into that run up up there. That could be a storm. All of it. Ooh. Oh, wow. It might work out. And and there it is. Gonna do it. There it is. Him kind of calling him out on the, the unsafe up smash there. Yeah, definitely. It was just just, just in tipper range too. And that that is one thing, like especially against Marth, more so than I'd say some of the other characters. Marth has the range to punish just just do it up smash. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, someone like Peach, if you just do an up just uh, run past up smash, you might not be able to chase him down fast yeah, enough. It's it's very dependent on the spacing, whereas like yeah. Marth, Marth has the range that there is such a wide area he can punish up. Yeah, and the speed as well from his dash yeah. dance and his wave dash to cover those. Nib would be poised to take this one. Oh, very nice! He's just ducks under the board air and jumps off a back yeah. air. Shine turn around there, such a swag way to take a stop. He's putting on the pressure right now. Oh, good. Oh, and he takes it! Nice! Great shine there by KFC! Amazing! And that's it! That's, that's Nib out of the tournament! Jeez. Damn! I think that's the second tournament in a row where KFC.